It is hardcore wintering outside today. It is super cold, super, super snowy. And I just started doing this and figured why not teach a tutorial on how to do it. So what I'm doing and what I'm gonna teach you is how to sync external audio with your camera audio right inside Premiere Pro. There are three ways that are really quick and easy. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're in Premiere Pro and I wanna keep this really clean and easy to follow along with. So I have my one clip here of footage that has both the visual and the camera audio, which doesn't sound too good. And then I also have this professionally recorded audio MP3 that was recorded with our external audio recorder, the H6 and a lavalier mic. There are a few different ways that you can sync your audio in Premiere Pro. The first way I'll show you is the way that you just don't wanna do. It's the most time consuming and it also leaves the most room for you making a mistake by a frame or two. But let's see how to do the syncing method first, just so you've got it in your back pocket. So I'll drag this video clip on the timeline. There we go. That's me recording a course. I'm gonna press the plus key on my keyboard to zoom into that audio and drag the audio tracks open a little bit so I can see what I'm working with. Next, I will drag this MP3 underneath the footage on tracks A3 and 4, drag this up a little bit. And it's quite obvious that the camera audio and the externally recorded audio aren't matching up here. So the first way to sync up this footage with the external audio is to do it manually. Now you can tell just by looking at the audio recording that this part of it here, this last part here, likely matches up because it looks pretty similar to this audio part in the clip above. I'm gonna drag that audio file underneath to line it up with that camera audio. Press the plus key on the keyboard to zoom in. Bring my cursor head to that particular spot on the timeline. And here's where the problem can arise. Let's say you have a ton of footage that you need to be syncing with your external audio recording. Unfortunately, when you're doing so much, especially if you have a quick turnaround on when your edit needs to be completed, it is so easy to overlook a clip or two not being completely properly synced up correctly. And here's a perfect case of when this has happened. You can see that the audio recording looks to be one frame off from the footage. With the external audio recording selected, I'm gonna press Command and the right arrow to move it over one. Okay, that looks like it is synced up correctly. And I'm not saying that this method of manually syncing your externally recorded audio to your camera audio doesn't work. Of course it can work. It's just not the most effective way of syncing your external audio with your camera audio. Let's check out another much quicker, much more efficient way to sync that audio. I'm gonna select both the audio and the footage, right click and click on merge clips. Under synchronize, we don't want in points, out points or time code selected. We want audio selected. Yes, use audio time code from clip zoom 001. So that looks good. So what this is gonna do is it is going to merge together that footage with that audio. Press okay. And as you can see, a new clip has been created that says merged on the end. I'm gonna drag that onto the timeline. And now we have the footage sunk up and grouped together with that external audio. So if for some reason I wanted to move the external audio away from the footage, when I click on it, I'm selecting that entire merged clip. We'll delete that whole merged clip because I wanna show you one more way that you can sync your camera audio with your external audio. This is the way that I prefer to use. I will scrub over to this camera clip here with the external audio underneath. Let's move that all out of whack. I'm gonna select both this footage and the external audio recording, right click, click on synchronize, and I wanna make sure that audio is clicked. Press okay, and Premiere Pro did its thing, there you go. One other thing that I like to do whenever I have camera audio that's sunk up with external audio, just to save myself from a potential headache, is sync my clip up with the external audio like I've done here, and then I'll go up to my project panel, select the sequence, so the current sequence with the footage and audio that's synced and I'm gonna rename it. 
synced audio and video. So if I had more clips that I need to sync in this particular project, I would make sure that they're all nice and synced in, synced, sunk, synced in this timeline. And then what I would do once everything's all synced up, all the clips and all the external audio are synced up, I would right click on that sequence, click on duplicate. And then with the duplicated sequence that has all the exact same contents as the original sequence here, I would rename this edit click on edit. And it's great to have this synced audio and video sequence as a backup. I'll show you why right now. I'm gonna press the plus key on my timeline to zoom in here. So now that my external audio is sunk up with my camera audio, let's say I decide to bring that external audio up to tracks one and two. And in doing so, I remove that original camera audio. Let's say we're editing away and we accidentally move the external audio away from the footage clip here and we catch it. Oh no. Now these clips are no longer synced up. What are we going to do? Well, to quickly recover that synced up audio and video clip, what I like to do and what I recommend you do as well is select both that clip and the external audio, press command C on your keyboard to copy it. Go back into the synced audio and video timeline. And with the timeline selected, you can tell it's selected because it has this blue frame border around it. Press command V to paste. And you can see here that I have these highlights within my footage and my audio, which indicate to me that this footage and audio I've copied over is a duplicate of these clips and audio right here. And the reason I'm able to see these highlights in my duplicate footage is because I have, let's go over to this wrench here on the timeline and click it. I have show duplicate frame marker selected. If I unselected it, like I just did, even though this footage and audio on the right here is a duplicate of this footage and audio on the left, it isn't indicated. I will click on this wrench again in the timeline and make sure that show duplicate frame markers is checked. There we go. So being able to do this and see the duplicate audio and video clips in this sequence makes it very easy for me as an editor to stay organized. Imagine that we had tons of clips that were synced up on this timeline. Being able to spot the duplicate on this timeline will save you a ton of time. So now what I can do is select that original video and audio clip, press command C to copy it. I can choose to delete this unsynced version now because I no longer need it go back to my edit sequence, bring my cursor over to a blank part in the timeline and press command V. Again, I'll delete this unsynced video and audio. And there we go. We have our footage clip with our external audio nice and synced up. So when I'm editing, I will make sure that I have my camera audio tracks muted, as you can see here on tracks one and two. And there you go. That's how you sync external audio with camera audio really quickly right in Premiere Pro. Gotta say, I'm not over winter. I know a lot of people are over it. They want summertime kind of weather. I actually really like winter, but I like winter when it's nice, white, fluffy snow, and it's like maybe zero degrees here in Canada. What I don't like and what I'm really over is the freezing cold weather that we've been having. The you walk outside and your eyeballs freeze and you can't feel your face because it's so cold. The bone chilling cold where you come back inside and you need to take a 45 minute burning hot shower just so your body temperature goes back to normal. That's when I'm over. Love snowmobiling, love taking walks when it's fluffy white snow and it's not freezing, but this freezing cold weather is what's keeping me from seeing the light of day other than through my window. So how are you doing with winter? Do you want it to be over or are you having fun enjoying winter activities like skating, snowmobiling, skiing, snowboarding, all that good stuff? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you're being a trooper or if you just want it to be summer already. We're putting out how to's, travel vlogs and reviews weekly here on the Alley and Will channel. So for more videos like this one, subscribe and ding that bell so you're notified when our videos go out. Thanks for checking this one out and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.